it's time for the last gacha gacha crit um and yeah as you can see in front of us today we have the uh final gacha gacha crit because i've uh cancelled my subscription with this may try a different box um and yeah so this is the january 2019 box i believe um and as we can see as always there's the um experience japan with gachapon gachapon i can never remember uh, that's their social media if you want to check them out that is the name of their thing and that is the website which i'll leave a link to in the description below i think i've forgotten to do that in my last few videos so you gonna have to go back and do that but yeah um as always you know if you're new to this thing uh gacha gacha is well it's a random selection well, especially picked, but random to the customer selection of six Gachapon. Um, some of them are completely covered by the orange thing. And it comes to the booklet every month that tells you what is in each one. Or rather, what the, you know, what line they're from. Because obviously, as with Gachapon, there's always a random selection of stuff. Actually, let's go... Yo. <laughs> Man, the... Um... Alright then. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> okay. I grabbed this because I thought, like, oh, that seems the smallest one. Is this... Has this been opened? Is it, as in, like, is that what it comes in? Or is this the packaging? Oh, wait, no. It opens up. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Wait, okay. Is, like, the rest of the body in here? This seems like there's some assembly required. Lots of assembly. Oh, fantastic. Okay, this is going to be fun. <laughs> um, right, or at least, like, there's the bot. Oh, it's a BB. Ooh. Okay, this is just looking creepy, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, are these instructions? Can you get varieties? Uh, right. Let's, let's see. Oh! Is it Minnie Mouse? Or Mickey Mouse, or... Oh, I see, right, okay, so the varieties are there's two horrifying babies, and then there's Mickey and Minnie. Right, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and put these together, and I'll be right back. Just an update, I think this may be Daisy Duck, actually. Um, you know, as in the Disney... Ah, yeah, they're ducks, I just didn't notice the bill. Okay, they're slightly less creepy. Um, still creepy, though, so I'll be right back. All right, I am back, and I have constructed Daisy Duck. I do believe it's Daisy. Um, and yeah, so it comes in little parts you put on the bow, then at the back of her head is that little thing, and there's a tail to put on, and the beak. I'll be honest, this is a really... It's a really, like, high-quality thing, like, figure, sort of, you know, a bit of construction stuff, but it's really well-painted and everything. Um... Sorry, a massive lorry just went by the house. So yeah, um, it's really like well sculpted and everything. It's phenomenal. Um, only downside is I, I don't care much for Disney things anyway. And well, <sighs> Daisy Duck has never been a. I mean, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a three-year-old niece. I think who will appreciate that, which is fine. You know, it's um, it's better to have them go somewhere than to just languish in a you know, box for several years until I chuck them out to charity shops or something. Uh, ah, right, okay, the cell tape is coming off in little bits. I will be back. Okay, so I forgot to uh, look at this. This is the Disney Friends head figure. Um, Mickey and Friends are here in the extra cute figures. Pop up in the heads to find the other pieces and assemble your very own figure. I mean, the Mickey Mouse one, I might have actually kept, um, possibly, but, like, of all the four of them... Minnie Mouse, you know, is kind of cute. Donald Duck is cool and kind of Kingdom Heartsy, um, so appropriate. I mean, Daisy is in Kingdom Hearts, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I've got off the thing. Ooh, that looks like the bottom of a minion. Please don't be a minion. Um, okay, no, it's not a minion. It's animals in things. What the hell is <laughs> what is going on? Are they bask? Are they overturned baskets? Oh, bags! Are they bags? Are they little animals in bags or something? Maybe. Right. Okay. Um. 
yeah, see, see what I meant by the minion, I thought. So a little bit of yellow, so blue, and it was like, oh no, no, please. Um, we got a dog in a blue bag, I think. Hang on. Uh, oh, that didn't open very well. Right, yeah, so this looks... Oh, it's a, it's a mitten. Ah, oh, I, I dropped that. There we go. Some more details. Yeah, it's it's a nice winter mitten kind of things thing. And inside we have a dog or a bear. That looks like a bear, honestly. Um, it's like you put him inside. Oh, and there he is, chilling. Yeah, that's definitely a bear and not a dog. Or you can put him that way. Um, equally as cute, actually. Obviously, I think that's best, though. Well, there we are. Okay, um... What a unique combo. <laughs> Let's see what the hell this is. These are little bears. Even these little bears are finding winter a tad bit too cold. That, that's a bit concerning, actually. Honestly, they should probably, like, send out some vets or something, because, um... Bears are made to survive in cold conditions. They're seeking warmth in a cosy knit hat, a warm bowl of soup. Warm bowl of soup, <laughs> which I do is your little rascal. Why? Hang on. Why are they hiding in soup? That's not... Oh, I see. Yeah, it's a bowl. That... Oh, right then. Well, there we are. We've got that one. Who uh, is number three. That's very nice. We could have had a hat... Another hat. So those are mittens and those are bowls. Ah, oh, they come with spoons. That'd have been cool. Uh, right, okay, my battery is really low, so I'm just going to go plug that in. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. And it's time to delve into... Actually, you know what? Let's grab a little one. Let's do this out of order. Usually I do the front row, then the back. But today I'm feeling daring. All uh, right, we've got a very pink one. Ah, again, the tape is coming off. Oh, actually... Uh, anyway, I'll I'll go and peel the tape off. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I I never know how long these things take because they've got tape on them. Like I sometimes end up filibustering and just like filling for time. But you know, I mean, these videos are long enough as they are. Um, what squishy cat? Is that a cat? That looks ooh. Okay, they're not just cats. They're dogs. And oh man, there's a snowman. Oh, the snowman would be cool. Uh, rabbit, that would also be cool. Lots of animals. Yay, they're squishy. So what does this say? Oh, what? Um, it's... Dust things? Well, Baby Baogu. Baby Baogu. What the... Yes, okay. Um, <laughs> let's see what one we got, shall we? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, this is a very squish. <gasps> Did we get a bear? Hang on. Uh, very fitting with the other bear thing. Ah, this bear is probably very, very cold because it's made of snow. Nice. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very squishy, cute bear. Oh, that's actually really cute. I like it because it's kind of minimalist as well. And um, this is another thing that would be just the right scale for, like, a Nendroid or something. You know? That's, um, yeah, that's really cool. And, yeah, it's very squishy. I don't want to pull it too much or whatever, but, you know, it's yours and it's a little tail. Cool. Right, let's find out what the hell that other insert was telling me, then. So these are Snowman Squishy. Um, squish and Stretch is adorable animal snowmen. Um, they also feel like mochi, a uh, stable food and decoration during New Year's in Japan. I know of mochi. That's nice. So, it feels like mochi, I suppose. Um, I don't think I've ever had any. I've had, like, mochi-themed snacks before, but not actual mochi. Well, it's very nice. It is just, like, a slightly um, powdery kind of feeling, squishy thing. That is very cute, though. Um... I do worry that in a few years' time, it's the kind of thing you'd come across and it's like, oh, it's gone all sticky, you're going to have to throw that in the bin. But yeah, it is very cute. I'll put him back in his capsule. Um, right, ooh, they're all pretty big. Let's go for the middle one then, because these last two on the side are actually pretty large. 
so I'll keep those till the end because um, as always we tend to get like big ticket items as in the like more expensive ones and then like so three of those and then three of the smaller ones it tends to be that one came open really quick oh and this feels squishy my finger just pressed oh yo it's a Pokemon thing I see Pikachu is this squishy then it must be uh, we have a Pikachu, an Eevee. I swear to God, we're going to get an Eevee because the last two things that featured uh, Eevee and other things, I always had an Eevee. Uh, oh, we have um, uh, Litten. Very weird looking Litten there, but I think that's Litten, isn't it? And um, oh, we have. Oh, I can't remember. It's an Ultra Beast. I can't remember its name. Uh, oh, and Stuffle. Well, that's really cute. Honestly, kind of hoping for one of these three. Because um, you don't get as much merchandise as these. Pikachu and Eevee, you get merchandise absolutely everywhere. Like, anywhere you go. Um, but, let's find out. Oh, yo! It's the um, it's the Ultra Beast thing. And it's not squishy at all. What the hell am I on about? <laughs> okay, then. Um... Ah, oh, that's really adorable. It looks like it's sleeping, maybe, I suppose. Its head look... wait a second. Is its head meant to come off? What is going on there? That looks very uneven, doesn't it? That looks like it's coming off. Is it meant to? And it's got like a charm thing. No, it doesn't. It just says Nintendo Pokemon. Um, tea arts made in Vietnam. Oh, made in Vietnam. Wow, not seen those signs much. Yeah. Okay, this just isn't a fantastically molded thing, I guess, because it yeah it doesn't move or anything. Right. Okay. Let's find out what the heck these are. Ah, these are Pokemon bells. Um, yeah, in Japan, ringing bells. The New Year is said to. Help cleanse the sins of the previous year. <laughs> um, so these Pokemon have little bells to capture the New Year's spirit. Hang on. Um. Oh, wait. Is this head a bell? What? Doesn't sound like a bell to me. Um. Maybe it like looks a bit like a bell. Um, hang on, doesn't want to focus. Hey, there we are. Yeah. Um, well, all right then. Um, <laughs> yeah, very very confusing item there. It doesn't sound or look like a bell. Well, it kind of looks a bit like a bell, maybe, sort of. And it's got the um, it's got the knotted red thread thing. The bells do have that, like shrines and stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely on the cheaper end of stuff, I think. But hey, you know. Um, right, let's move on to. Let's go for the, for the front one. Oh, will we be able to open? No. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Time to open this up. Obfuscate the item and have a. Ooh, is this Dan board? I think this is Dan Board. Um, it's like the it's like the cardboard robot thing, basically. Um, I I was gonna order one of these, but for oh, hello, Sonic. Is that Yakuza? Uh, someone's at the door. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, um, <laughs> looking at these, they seem like themed. So I don't know what. T is um, that's probably a Japanese company. Don't know what that is either. Oh, Kin King Guzumu, King Guzumu. I do not know. Um, yeah, that's a Yakuza themed one um, from Sega, and uh, ooh, this is from Tanita, right? And that one. From wherever that company... Ooh, and there's a mysterious one from a mysterious company. Right then, well. Uh, very interesting. Which one do we have? I can't remember what one that one is. Oh, hang on. Oh, is this Idea Factory? Is that what I said on the back? 
Hang on. Let's get into this. Pull the little Dan board out. Uh, and he has some accessories. Alright. Uh, Ooh, it looks like he... Uh, hang on, wait. Let me just open it up. Because there's no point looking through the plastic. Uh, right. Oh, hang on. Be right, be right, be. All right, so I'm back. Um, I've still not fully worked out what this is. So the um, the company is Umu Imuraya, um, which I'll take a look at the thing in a second. So that's the like logo and stuff. So the Dan board is wearing the thing. So this is a little, like speech thing you can say. I I can't be asked to translate what that says. But it also comes with, which is interesting, this. So, hang on. Um, yeah, so this is like a lolly uh, of some kind. Or bookie? I don't know. Um, however, and I dropped this, so <laughs> I found it the hard way. This slides open, right? And that, hmm, that moves a bit as well. Anyway, this slides open and there's a tiny little chocolate lolly inside. Um, or ice cream lolly, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I assume it's just one of them, otherwise I've lost the other one to time. Um, ah, however, actually, I think I've just worked out. So, because he's got a hole in his head there, right? So I think you put this here and then the sign on top. There we are, maybe. Um... Honestly, it doesn't seem like it really fits. I'll be honest. I don't know what the hell is going on. Also, I don't know how Dan Board's going to stand. So I don't have anything actually, like, hard to lay him on. Or her. I suppose it's a her. Um, maybe he'll be able to stand just with his feet like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have a look, quick look at the uh, thing that came with it again. Okay, so I have come to the conclusion that I have the um, special one, I think, because look, it's got a bit of a skirt, as does that one. Um, I'm not sure what the hell that's meant to say, though, because um, oh, they all have skirts, but obviously none of them are wearing the right thing. Are they holding stuff? Oh, I wonder if my Danboard can hold it little um, lollipop then. I don't imagine it can though. Um, right, okay, well, I'm gonna have a quick look at the little booklet and see if I can work out what the hell this thing is. Okay, so this is Twitter account x Danbo. So Danbo is basically a cardboard and it's from the um, popular manga Yotsuba and I, now, which is about a cute green-haired girl. Um, and yeah, these are like, these Danboro Decorators company boxes, stating company tweet above their heads. Which one did you receive? Well, I <laughs> I, I clearly received uh, like an uh, ice lolly manufacturer or something, but I don't know. That looks like the top thing says Abu Kiba. Um, it doesn't mean anything to me, so there's, there's no point me translating it really. And yeah, it's very... ooh, has my, has my ice lolly thing disappeared? No, no, there we are, it's still there. Good, well, um, yes, I, I'm i very pleased that I have a Dan board, actually, or a Dan bow, I suppose. Um, but, yeah, I don't... <laughs> it's such a... oh, wow, there's even, like, a little metal clasp thing. On the side, that's cr like the detail is crazy. This is definitely one of the coolest things I've had from Gacha Gacha Crate. Because um, as I said, I was actually going to buy one of these myself at one point. And, um, I think they're a bit bigger and stuff, just because it was really cute. Um, and it is incredibly cute. Right, okay. We're on to a final item. Will I be able to get? No, I won't. Okay, right. I'll be about. Be right back. All right, I'm back with the final capsule. It's very pink. Something with like a floral pattern in as well, I think. Oh, is that an eraser? Uh, or a rubber, as we call her in the UK, but I realise in the US a rubber is something very different. Is that toilet paper tissues? Or 
Whatever the oh, is that like packaged toilet paper? Ah, I see. Oh, is this actual like tape or something? Do you get little bits of like um? Oh, okay. This is called Zar Paper. The paper, I suppose. Zar Paper Three. Um, and obviously this would be the third thing. Right. Nice. Got a box of tissues. Oh yeah. That's, that's what I've been dreaming of. <laughs> um, wow, what a what an awfully bizarre soft tissue. That's very nice. Soft tissue. Can I? Uh, yeah. Can I? Can I get? Can I get any out? Or um, this is a no. Oh. Oh, okay, it moves about inside, but... Right, I'm just going to experiment for a second, BRB. All oh, right, I'm back. So, yeah, the, like, bottom slides out, and you've got a nice little roll of paper in there. And, like, it's actual paper paper, like ones you can write on and stuff. Um, And, yeah, so it looks a bit like a tissue box, which is nice. Um, Yeah, all right, then, I'll see what these are about. <laughs> These are toilet memo pad keychains. Uh, do you ever find yourself deep in thought while in the bathroom? If only you had a pen and paper, list down the ideas that jot into your head. So I know that this is humorous, like, ah, oh, it's paper, but you don't, you're not really solving anything there because it's like, hey, want to jot something down? Well, you'll have to bring a pen. So <laughs> you just, basically, you're just bringing paper in. Um, I like the idea though, it is kind of cute, um, and it, you know, it's a mini scale. I, I like Gachapon that give mini scales of things, um, they're handy. Right, anyway, I'm going to uh, have a look quickly around the rest of the booklet, uh, in case there's anything interesting, I'll be right back. Alright, so just a quick wrap up, these are the uh, photos from the community and stuff, um, and most of them are pictures of those really weird cat hats, I'm sure some people's cats appreciated them um that that face just sums up i think um how i uh, assumed most cats would feel about these hats and then on the back is about traditional toys and stuff so there's these like uh, spinny top things and they're like hey there's new beyblade things which are kind of the same uh man i miss beyblades um then we have uh kendamas which are one of those things that came in a uh, month before last, uh, Gacha Gacha, which is quite nice. Apparently there were like, tournaments and stuff about this, so it's really big in Japan, apparently. And then they talk about metal tin toys. Now, I can't say I've ever had any of these. Apparently they're really popular in Japan and stuff. But I do know of, there's a line of figures called Chugo King, Chugo Kin, that make like big mech things. Oh, well, as it says here, it's based off like Mazinga Z. Um, Godzilla and Super Sentai and other things like that. It's pretty cool. It's um, it, it's nice and they give you a little rundown like that. Anyway, as always, I'm going to arrange them in a nice, um, pleasing manner and I'll be right back to give a recap for the final box. Alright, so I'm back with uh, all of the items. And yeah, actually, this month has been really fun as well. Um, very much sort of the... Well, a, a really good array of things that kind of really show off what this crate's all about and I think quite a nice ending thing as well. The Daisy Duck, um, as I said, I you know, I don't appreciate it but I really appreciate the craftsmanship and stuff. Like, if you're into Disney stuff, this would have been a phenomenal one to have, I'm sure. Tissue box is a bit weird but I like a bit weird. I like things I can sort of put in photos or whatever of like figures in the background. Not quite the right scale for most things. Well, actually, I suppose, like, really big figures and stuff, this would be perfect for. But yeah, very, very quirky. Never going to use it, because that's a tiny scrap of paper. But, you know, hey, very much appreciated. Honestly, I think this may be the most disappointing Pokemon thing I've had. Um, just because, like, the sculpt isn't great, because obviously his head looks like it's cracking apart. There's no bell thing, and... Um, yeah, I don't know, it's it's a little bit cheap. It's sort of like, it's not anything I'd particularly show off. Um, you know, I love its design, so I still can't remember its name. I'll I'll put a caption when I open it, I'm sure. Um, the, the bear thing is adorable in the glove. Um, 
admittedly, like, I'm not super huge into the, like, oh, cute animals doing cute things uh, kind of stuff, or not enough to really want to actually buy them myself. But, you know, it, it, it's nonetheless very nice, and I can put it with all my cute little doggles and other things I've had throughout the months. The snowman bear is adorable, um, very squishy, and honestly, I think one of the highlights of this month, um, I think. Very simple, but, you know, it, it does the job. It's, um, it's something I'll keep around for a while. And I made Dan Board stand up, oh yeah! Honestly, uh, best part of the crate, I think. Oh, hang on, almost uh, tipped my camera there. Yeah, so it's, um, it's a weird one. Like, I don't, I still don't understand exactly what the company is or whatever. I know it sells ice lollies, so, and it's linked with Twitter, which is very weird. But you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, that about wraps it up for my gacha gacha things. I probably won't be resubscribing to this anytime soon, because um, as I've said before, they're really cute and everything, but I don't have much use for this many tiny little figures and stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm going to display them around and stuff, and I'm going to keep all the ones I really like and give away the ones to friends or whatever that I don't. But yeah, it's um, if you are thinking of getting it yourself, I would suggest maybe trying it for a month or maybe three months because it's very, it well, it, kind of in the same way as a lot of subscription things, it tries to please a lot of people, I think, and in doing so... It's kind of a shame that they don't do more focused ones, because, like, for example, as with every crate, like, half of these things, like the Pokemon, Dan Board, and that, I really, really love. Um, well, you know, Pokemon one, kind of. And, you know, th there's kind of quirky things, but then there's always cute animal and, like, more girl-oriented kind of stuff as well. And it's a shame there's not kind of a... Um, you know, like a boys anime gacha or girls anime gacha, you know, stuff like that, because I think they could really do with doing that. I think that would please everyone, really. Um, but, you know, I I think it's a pretty good service. So, as I said, give it a try for maybe a month or, you know, three months if you've got quite a lot of confidence you're going to like these things. It is a little bit pricey, but honestly, I, I quite like it because it's a nice variety of Japan and I'm sure as hell not going to you know, be sort of sending over orders to Japan just to get one of these things, because I'm sure they'd charge you about £20 uh, import tax. So yeah, overall, very good service. Um, I've gone back to Japan Crate now, so that's what most of my videos will be about. Um, and yeah, I may look into another subscription crate for this year, I think, just, you know, keep it fresh. Uh, and yeah, so until next video, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.